Hi guys and welcome back. Today, Mike is going to be taking over the cooking. Hello there. He's going to be cooking his world famous shepherd's pie. Such a professional. Get into your sous chef these. position. Mike's shepherd's pie. My, my favourite of all shepherd's pies because it is full of flavour. I think it's something we've perfected over the years because we tend to cook a lot yeah. of shepherd's pies. You're so much better than me at chopping things. It's not fair. So I'm going to put two cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to crush them and then peel them and then just chop away to small diced pieces. I'm going to do a drizzle of olive oil. Uh, I'm just going to break this up before I put it in so it doesn't burn. I'm going to season it before I put it in the pan with a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, we get in there. Nearly done. Can you not do this any quicker? When I was sous chef, it was done Sorry. like that. Right, now I'm going to add the meat in. So we're just going to darken the meat. And whilst that's browning... Can I drain the potatoes? You can drain the potatoes. Yes. So now this meat's nice and browned, I'm going to get some red wine, which if you've had a glass already, you can just pour the remainder in. So you just stir that in, and then I'm just going to let that reduce down to catch all the flavours. Now we can do mashed potatoes. How's that sound? Sounds good. This is 500 grams, so, so about... This is 500 grams, so I'd say normally about 50 grams, so something Such around there. Such a professional. Such a professional. So after the butter, we add a bit of salt and pepper. Mash. Go on. No, we have some kind of machine that can do this. No, we just have you. <laughs> He's also left the skin on the potatoes. I don't know if we said yeah. that. These, these are new potatoes, so the skin is much better on them because they are fresh. I don't tend to put milk in my mashed potato to go in a shepherd's pie. You've got so much juice in the mince as it is that then it kind of takes away from it. So you want it, it to be it quite sloppy. Yeah, you want it to be quite firm. This is where my special ingredients come in, which kind of gets a bit renegade, which I'm not sure many shepherd's pies have. So first. I get some chopped tomatoes, <laughs> but it was the same as you would put in a spaghetti bolognese. It kind of adds like a sort of rich flavour to it, which I quite like. This is where I need you, sous chef. Uh, it is time for you to get a bit of gravy granules in yeah. there. Or gravy powder. Yeah. This makes perfect sense, yeah. Now very gently add... Mix. Gently add. Okay, don't gently add it. She didn't, she didn't add it gently, but I would I don't do it. things gently. Just put them in. And then there's one other secret ingredient. Do you know what that is, my darling? Mm. Rosemary. Well done. One sprig. I would like one sprig. Just scatter those in. We just stir that in. We're going to drop the temperature down. If you've got time to let it simmer, it definitely will add the flavour. I need my tasting spoon. Oh, your tasting spoon. Got to make sure it's seasoned properly. Need more pepper. More pepper? Yeah. Don't you walk away, don't you walk away. Don't you walk away, don't you walk away. Acceptable? really good. I mean, ugh, it's disgusting. Now this is all mixed in together, I'm going to add in the final ingredient, which is peas, frozen peas. You can use any kind of like chopped vegetable, root vegetable. There's a lot of peas in there. Yeah, there's a lot it's of peas, good. but it's good, healthy. Yeah. So first things first, we're going to add the meat. It's just a bit at a time to make sure you're not overdoing it. You know what else is a good ingredient? What Chef else is a good pie? ingredient? Ketchup. <laughs> It is, honestly. Not. Mike hates ketchup, but I put it in shepherd's pie when I cook. Now we see if your mashed potato is up to standard. <laughs> I think so. it needed more butter, but you know. No, I th you've got to be healthy with these things. I like to go through the middle with it, dollops, and then work your way out. So how does the, si the, the middle bit not squish out the side? Because I'm going to use a cunning <laughs> technique, which is a fork. A fork, a fork I see. I'm just going to gently prod and just push it outwards Needed first. more butter, it's a bit dry. It's fine. So I like it to be a bit rustic, any bit sticking up. It's kind of good because that means they get extra brown and So all the bits sticking up higher will get more yeah. toasty. Sous chef, oh, okay. do you like to grate? It's really hard because it's really far away from me. That's not my problem, you're the sous chef. <laughs> Sue up. Can we put it in the it's oven? It's ready for the oven. Right, it's hot so it gets the grill action. Yeah, make sure you get it up to the how, top. How long do you leave it for? 20 minutes? I would say in our oven, it's probably going to take about 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully a little less. If you've got a grill, it probably only take five minutes. Right. It's done, I think. It's done. I mean, you can hear the sound of the... Oh, it does sound great. You are so proud of yourself, Mike. Yes. I 
I'm ready. I'm you ready. know what I would do to this though? Do that I do every time. Ruin it. Cover it in ketchup. Might be fine if I do say so myself. Acceptable. It's really good. Good. Well, if you guys want to see more of these recipes that I'll be cooking, and you might be allowed to cook every now and then. Couple. Couple. Then either click or subscribe to the channel at the link below. I'm just going to eat the chef's pie. Fine. See you soon, guys. Eating.